Good morning, children. We are here back for the GK class, class five. I hope you all are staying safe at home. Today we are going to start with a new lesson, and the name of the lesson is Traditional Paintings of India. As we all know, that India is rich in culture and heritage. So here we have got chance to read about the the traditional paintings of India. The very first painting is Patta Chitra. Patta means that patta, right? Te uh, that leaves, and Chitra means drawing. So Patta Chitra is derived from the words patta and chitra. Patta means canvas, and chitra means picture. most of the themes of most of the themes of traditional patta chitra was based on hindu mythology this form of cloth based scroll paintings is mainly rooted in odisha now patta chitra is the patta uh, the patta is canvas and chitra is the picture and it is the traditional thing which is based on hindu mythology and it is based it is mainly rooted in odisha it is famous in odisha next madhubani painting madhubani painting has striking geometrical patterns which are traditionally done on a freshly plastered or mud wall with natural dyes and pigments now this madhubani paintings are not exactly a painting but it is full of geometrical shapes right and it is traditionally done on a freshly plastered wall or a mud wall theek hai the wall which is freshly prepared us pe ye painting ki jati hai the paintings are basically of ritual nature for particular occasions such as birth marriage and festivals and the pictures are based on birth marriage and festivals the main feature of this style form the mithila region of bihar is that it usually leaves no space empty on the canvas it is very much famous in bihar in the mithila region and in this painting no space is left empty koi bhi jagah khali nahi rehti hai all the, mean the painting is full of drawing and geometrical shapes the next drawing is tanjore painting Tanjore painting is originated in Tanjavur a region in Tamil Nadu Tanjore paintings which mainly depict sacred icons are mostly done on wood with rich vivid colors featuring elements in gold leaf and inlays of glass or even semi precious stones now Tanjavur painting originated in tamil nadu in tanjavur tanjore painting was originated in tanjavur in tamil nadu and it mainly depicts sacred icons theek hai jo ki kis pe hote hain mostly on wood and with rich and vivid colors with very bright colors theek hai and it is even done on some semi precious stones the next is worldly folk painting worldly folk painting is the vivid expression of daily and social events of the worldly tribe of maharashtra now worldly uh, folk painting is famous in maharashtra it does not depict mythological characters or images of deities worldly paintings which are usually made by women are done on a mud base using white coloring with occasional dots in red and yellow now this is not mythologically dependent it can be anything it can depict anything and it is mostly done by women on a mud base with white color and somewhere uh, red and yellow dots are also used now the next painting is miniature painting miniature painting finely wrought and minutely detailed painting bahut hi finely usko banaya jata hai bahut minutely usme detail di jati hai flourished in the mughal period and this painting flourished kis samay ki famous thi mughal period mein 
it also became very popular in the rajputana kingdoms also it was very famous in rajputana kingdoms where many styles and schools of miniature paintings flourished the artist used paper ivory panels wooden tablets leather marble cloth and walls for their painting the, art, the artists used many things like they used to uh, paint on paper on some metals on wooden tablets leather cloth walls anywhere they can draw this painting the colors are made of minerals and vegetables precious stones as well as pure silver and gold the color was made by the uh, painters and the artists themselves they used to make it from minerals vegetables court scenes and hunting expeditions of kings are often the themes of these paintings and in these paintings mainly what was depicted the court scenes of uh, kings and when the kings uh, used to go on hunting those pictures are depicted here in the miniature painting the next is the name bandhani a technique of printing fabric comes from the sanskrit term bandhana now bandhani is a type of printing technique and it is derived from bandhana parts of the cloth are pinched and tied up before dyeing so that when the cloth is dried the tied parts form patterns theek hai mostly it is done in uh, rajasthan if you my, might have noticed usko bandh ke usko dye karte hain and वो थ्रेड को खोलते हैं देन देर इज अक पैटर्न यू कैन ऑब्जर्व ऑन दी फैब्रिक बंदनी क्लॉथ इज कंसिडर टू बी अ सिंबल ऑफ गर्ल हुड एंड लव इट इज अ सिंबल ऑफ गर्ल हुड एंड लव नाउ द नेक्स्ट कालम कारी इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द वर्ड्स कालम एंड कारी मीन्स पेन एंड वर्क विच मीन्स आर्ट वर्क डन यूजिंग अ पेन इट रिफर्स टू अ मेथड ऑफ पेंटिंग natural dyes onto cotton or silk fabric with a bamboo pen or kalam now with a bamboo pen the drawing is made on a silk fabric with natural dyes the kalamkari tradition chiefly consists of scenes from hindu mythology now the scenes which this drawing depict their depicts is mostly hindu mythology now there is a small quiz which we uh, need to answer the first question is what is a traditional tibetan buddhist painting called the traditional painting of tibetan buddhist and the answer is thangka t h a n g k a thangka t h a n g k a t h a n g k a now the next question which style of embroidery is done with white cotton threads on plain muslin cloth lucknow in uttar pradesh is the chief center of this style plain cloth pe white cotton thread se design banti hai embroidery ki jati hai and what is it called chicken kari c h i k a n k a r i c h i k a n k a r i third question which kashmiri paper mash art form uses flower motifs and is made on paper pulp ऑब्जेक्ट पेपर के पल्प से बना होता है ठीक है और उस पर फ्लास से डेकोरेशन होती है ठीक है उसे आर्ट होता है फ्लास से होता है ना वॉट इज इट कॉल्ड कारी कमन दारी के ए आर आई कारी के ए एम ए एन डी ए आर आई कमन दारी के ए आर आई कारी K A M A N D A R I Kari Kamandari Next and the last question 
name the famous form of embroidery from Punjab which literally means floral craft. This is the embroidery famous in Punjab and it means floral craft. Floral means full of flowers and the answer is Fulkari. P-H-U-L-K-A-R-I. P-H-U-L-K-A-R-I. Fulkari. I hope the answers are very much clear to you all. You can rewind and listen to the answers if there is any confusion. We will be discussing the problems in the class. Till then, take care of yourselves. We will meet soon with the next video of the next lesson of GK. Thank you and stay safe. Stay home.